Good day. I'm looking... What are you doing here? You are in a hidden village, a sacred village. The Renaiks have no place here. I seek an audience with the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Hakadaktus. Do you know where I can find her? The Tierna is in her home. She goes, she comes as her heart desires. Only her Voglendaig must know. And if I knew where she was, it's not me who is going to tell her, Renaiks. Go away, leave me alone now. I have much to do. The Great Hunt is coming. You spoke about a great hunt. What is it? A sacred ceremony, of course. How in your countries do you honor your lands and assure their abundance? Well, uh, it's a bit... You Renaiks are very strange. It is no wonder that you come to our lands. If you do not honor the land with the great hunt, you must lack game to hunt. Each year, one of our own, our best hunter, dresses up as the Andrig. He becomes the White Andrig during an entire night and the others hunt him. If he escapes them, the game will be abundant and the gathering fruitful during the entire year. It is a very important celebration. I must take my leave. Bortir to Madre Uh, good day. I seek the Mistress of Wisdom, the Tierna Ha Kadachtas. I have no idea what you want with her, but no one in the village will tell her Renaikse where to find her. I do not seek to harm her, only to speak with her. I don't know where she is. Her Voglandaig might know, but I think he will tell you nothing. You are in one of the most sacred villages of our lands. The Renaiks are not welcome here, and we are busy making ready for the Great Hunt. Maybe I could help you with something. Help us? Hmm. Why not, after all? It would speak well of your intentions. During the Great Hunt, we place bells on the path to keep the animals away. During the last hunt, there was a great storm. And the bells were badly damaged. Would you like me to repair them? That would be good. If not, we need to make new ones, and I am afraid we will not have the time. Good day. My name is Desar Day. Would you be the Voglandike of the Mistress of Wisdom? Beer Tirtumont, Renaxe. Yes, I am Mongos. What are you doing here in this sacred village? Do you know where I might find the Mistress of Wisdom? The Tirna Hachkadaktas? I regret she is not here. Do you know where she might be found? I am sorry, but I will not tell her an ice stranger to us. Your kind has many who bend the truth to their desires. Some of them tried to capture her. You need to prove to us that we can trust you. Sure. Tell me what I could do. You could help me find the secret seal that I lost. This would prove a little. It is a sacred stone that my mistress asked me to study and meditate with. I had it with me when I was going to the river. But I was suddenly attacked. Of course, the animals let me alone in the end. But I dropped the seal in my flight. I would gladly go and look for it, but I am alone in the village, waiting for the Tierna Hakkadaktas. And what with the preparations and the great hunt, I cannot leave at this time. I see. I'm going to look near the river and see if I can find it. Thank you, Renaxe. I must leave.
Let's take a look at these chimes. Hmm. Its base is damaged. The wooden tubes can no longer hit each other. We will need to craft a new base. Child's play. I'll help you if you want. These chimes are once again in working order. Seeing where it's been hung, it isn't surprising that these chimes are making no sound. They're far too low and can't catch the wind. Now with the chimes in the proper place, they should sound like they're supposed to sound. The base of this bell is damaged. That's why it no longer makes a sound. I need to build a new one. These chimes are once again in working order. These chimes here are simply tangled. I need to untangle them without breaking them. There. Everything is in order. It will chime whenever wind blows upon the branches.
Ongos. What do you want, Renaixi? I found your seal. It was indeed near the river. My heart thanks you. You are a Renaixi like no other. The Tirna Hachadaktas would have been angry if I had lost it. The Tirna Hachadaktas went into the sacred bosque. She goes often there to meditate. And where could I find this bosque? To the west of the village, into the heart of the woods. There is a passage between the rocks that gives access. Be wary. This is an untamed place where the animals are wild and numerous. I must leave. Dewid, you cannot enter here. It is the dwelling of the Tierna Hakadaktas. Very well. I'll be on my way. Well now, Renaixe. Were you able to repair our bells for the hunt? Yes, they're all working now. You are very surprising. But I should have known that as an Onol Manawi, you would be different than the others. I now believe your words to be true when you say you desire no harm to our Tirna. You need to find her Voglendai. I will tell him that your intentions are heartfelt. Not welcome here in Nancy. I regret troubling your rest. My name is Disarde. I am a legate of the Congregation of Merchants. Mev, daughter of Morrigan, daughter of Cardwin. What is a legate? And what could he want from me? I am an emissary, a representative of my nation. I have come to speak to you about a cure. Of what cure do you speak? You do not show signs of sickness. I'm not. But on our continent, many people are dying from a terrible plague. We have named the sickness the Malachor, and none of our doctors have been able to heal anyone taken ill. We have heard talk from some of your people of a cure that is so powerful that it can heal almost anything. You would be. This miraculous cure that we have heard talk of, could you share the formula with us? You are either completely crazed or foul liars. None of this makes sense. But I... Enough! I have lost enough time with your lies and your foolish thoughts. I do not know what you truly want from me. But I will not be used like some puppet. poison on my blade!
These roots are so interwoven and taut that it's impossible to get through them. There is residue. It looks as if something had been placed here. She passed through here, there's no doubt about it. But how was she able to get past these roots? This stone steely has something to do with the entry of the grotto. But how? This is obviously island magic. Some sort of ritual. The roots must open if one places the proper offering on the altar stone. I wonder if Ongos, the Voglandai, will know how this works. Were you able to meet the Tierna Hak Kadaktas? Yes. But to my grave disappointment, she fled before I could expose my arguments. Yes, many strangers have tried to capture her many times. She must have decided you were one of them. I am once again in need of your assistance. I must take the passage blocked by a door of roots. You had the honor of speaking with my mistress. If she chose to follow the sacred passage, then it is that she had nothing more to say to you. Why would I share with you the understanding of the ritual that protects her? Listen, I was able to meet the Tierna Hach thanks to you, but I haven't the slightest clue why she fled in the middle of our conversation. I sincerely believe that there was a misunderstanding. You know that I mean her no harm. If I were simply given a chance to explain, I'm certain that she would understand. You must feed the offering ward to enter into the passage and meet her once again. I need to place a seed on the stone steely, don't I? Yes, you must make this offering. I cannot tell you from which plant it is given, but there is a chance there are more in her dwelling. I will let you enter this one time but treat her dwelling with respect, I ask you. Thank you for your help. Do not be so eager to thank me. The place you enter is ripe with dangers. As do all sacred places, it defends itself with the wild beasts that it fosters. This passage leads to a forest where the ancestors of the Tierna Hak Kadaktas makes her home. And why should I fear the ancestor? Have stories of the Nadaig been shared with you? In your language, you would call them guardians. Yes. I even encountered one. She was... magnificent. Then you know of what I speak. I must leave. This looks like a collection of skulls from various animals. I wonder what purpose they serve. All of this is extremely interesting, but alas, it won't help me open the route passage. This plant looks familiar. I saw some not far from here. Unfortunately, it's lost its seeds. This bark is covered with little symbols. It looks like some sort of writing. Though I've been led to believe the natives have no written language. I should speak with Siora when I have the chance. Perhaps she could explain what it is. All of this is extremely interesting, but... Alas, it won't help me open the root passage. All these crushed plants and these powders... She must have been preparing a potion. It might be the miraculous remedy. Ugh, to be so close and yet to have no idea what to do with all this. I don't see any seeds here. The only clue we have is this plant. Let's try to find some other flowers. It might be their seed that opens the passage.
all these flowers. Perhaps this is where the Tiernaha Caductus finds the seeds that we're looking for. These flowers are similar to those we found in the dwelling of the Tiernaha, and they bear seeds. It is truly pastoral. Seeds, knotted roots. Oh, how I miss the ocean. We have what we need. Let's go back to the stone steely. Looks very ancient. I wonder what treasures it contains. We did not come to defile this place, and we do well to hurry. The Tiernaha Caductus has quite the head start.
We cannot go this way. There has to be another path. I need a bit of practice.
to get dicey. Then let's go!
someone went through here. In fact, I think I can see several different tracks. I hope she didn't hide in this forest. Finding her here would be quite troublesome. We didn't want this fight. Why? Why? In order to capture and extract from her what we need. To examine her. Dissect her, if necessary. You have done us a great service. Guiding us directly to her. Are you saying that... Even if the creature has concocted some remedial potion, it is not the song we came for, but the bird. She leads the sorcerers of this island. She knows how they transform, and from where their powers originate. Our scientists think that the remedy is there, in their pseudo-magic. 
and in their mutation. Thank you for bringing her to us and ridding us of the monster. Do you think I'm going to allow you to manipulate me? I don't think anything. Apologies, Excellency. But you are going to die tragically from a stray bullet intended for the monster. A bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Mercy, Your Excellency, I surrender. How dare you ask for mercy after attempting an assassination? After revealing your conspiracy to me? You deserve nothing less than death. I will not go down without a fight. Yeah. Bit of poison on my... Yeah. Yeah. Tiana Ha? She's unconscious. We need to bring her back to her village. She needs to be tended to. We should leave right away. Is she going to survive? Yes, she will heal. They were not shooting to kill her. And we are resistant, you know. The bond empowers us. It gives us the vigor of animals, the resilience of trees. It's undoubtedly for that reason that your alliance is so interested in us. Tiana, he does not mean to harm you. Please, let me... What do you want from me, Ranaikse? We were manipulated by the alliance. We had no idea that they sought to capture you. We believed their fable of a miraculous remedy. We killed the man that wounded you. He will hunt you no longer. And their governor will have explaining to do. I suppose I should thank you for having pulled me from their claws and bringing me here. And to have crushed the life out of a few of these parasites. There is indeed a remedy. But I doubt that I can do anything against this sickness that you describe. I don't know it. And I don't see how I could create a remedy that would heal it. Perhaps you could try. We are desperate. This remedy was prepared for a precise purpose. To heal those who escaped the claws of the Alliance. These monsters capture the Sinol Menoi and torture them, bleed them, put things in their veins. Those that do escape are in such agony that our care and comfort are not enough to mend them. That's why I made this remedy. Not for your Malikor. My people have never fallen prey to such sickness. How can you be so sure? Perhaps it's your tremendous resistance that protects you from the sickness. Perhaps. Enon Mil Frichtimen protects us all. Enon Mil Frichtimen? God of a thousand faces in your tongue. The one and many who protects us and our island. They and we are tied and bound. As they are tied and bound to you. Their generosity to our people is infinite. But the crimes of the Renaixe enrage it. After all, perhaps your Malikor is their vengeance. This is strange. The two tracks that we followed have led us to the same name. Enon Mil Frigdimin. The divinity of the natives, or the spirit of this island, if I have understood correctly. This god protects his people, I hear that. But why create a sickness that would decimate an entire continent? We know that the congregation came to this island long ago, a lot longer than we first thought. The Malakor could be a consequence of that first attempt to colonize. A curse cast at that epoch, brought back by the first defeated colonists. After all, is it not also the origin of the first guardians of the native legends? Either way, either way, one thing. If there is something or someone on this island powerful enough to heal the Malakor, it is certainly him. We need to bring this news back to Constantine. Even if we don't have a remedy yet, he'll be happy to know that we've made progress.